Good afternoon, YouTube. Just got back from yard sailing. Hey, we did pretty good. Not great, but did pretty good. However, I did pick up an anchor item. And if you're interested in knowing what an anchor item is, stay tuned and let's do this. All right, we got ourselves a sale. All right, what do you say we get right to it? I'll flip you around. All right. First up, one, two, three, four. I don't know if they're name brand or uh, if they're Harbor Freight or whatever, but either way, super handy clamps. Uh, definite score on this. I got a couple uh, Belkin uh, power strips, which I, I'm short on, so that's nice. I got this really cool, yeah, this was Mark 20. He gave this to me for five. Um, it's a old Wessex electric heater. Cord's been cut off. It's dented up in the front. Who knows if it works? And that's you know that's kind of what I brought up. But let's see, let's see if we can get that thing working. A really really nice uh, art setup and paints. This is all stencils and patterns and different uh, types of uh, paper medium. I got the whole kit uh, for 10 bucks. This box though is is the winner. It's a Wolsey and Company. Um, look at this. It's all just chuck full of goodies, but the big winner is look at those paint brushes. Beautiful, beautiful vintage uh, brushes, uh, colored pencils. Um, Oh, what do you call it? Uh, clay um, carving units and all that. So this is going to be uh, something I'll dig into. I know the paint brushes, by the way. Some of those paint brushes can be worth ten, twelve, fifteen bucks each. Um, I've got hundreds of them. Someday I'm going to need to go through them and and get rid of them, sell them, because uh, last I checked, I'm not a painter. Now this oh i forgot to tell you some somehow this painting turns into see how the this hinges open like this and then there's a double hinge in the back so i'm not sure exactly how that works but it's pretty cool and i know that uh i know this box is is desirable so i'm not going to go through that but uh it's pretty cool stuff I got this watertight union chest. This came with it. This was a part of the $10. There's another whole good size amount of uh, brushes. Uh, union Steel Company. Really nice box. That'll go down to the booth. Uh, we'll do well. Got a Slumberjack sleeping bag. Uh, this is, uh, I got this because they're canvas. It's a laundry bag and everything was half off at that sale so this was a dollar fifty so I don't know that'll be kind of cool to have got a uh, old hickory knife set made in USA yep old hickory one two three four five six seven knives I have, I have not looked these up i don't know i, I don't know anything about them the cleaver's kind of cool it's kind of lightweight but it's it's kind of cool i got two um oh what do you call those uh tape measures one two brand new drop cloths uh some freezer bags some two big things of uh foil um we i i think that we've talked about this before but I collect this old um, vintage uh, products from the 70s I've got uh, a bunch of things like that I get I got this for a buck um, it's just it's just something I do you probably won't understand <laughs> but uh mess kit brand new never out of the box these were a buck a piece I got uh, some silver polish but I noticed that it says that it'll polish a number of uh, chrome and uh, 
other products. So I'll put this with my other polishes. I got a really uh, interesting brush. That's kind of cool for getting into tight spots and it's it's very uh, strong, the bristles are. Nice little uh, scraper. This is a real nice red devil. I like the, I like the reinforced areas back here. Maybe a, that might be for drywall. I don't know what these are, but I picked them up. They're 50 cents a piece. Uh, I know what I could use them for and they stack. Might make a little stove out of it, who knows. I got one, two, three, four, five, and then the sanding unit uh, for uh, nice abrasives. Hey Donna, look at this orange Echo stapler. That's a cute little guy. Uh, nice, nice, nice nic uh, nickels. Is that what it is? Nickels? Yeah, Nicholson, USA. Uh, file doesn't even look like it's ever been used This is a tubing bender. I think for brake lines, but might it would work for bending any kind of tubing This is a really nice set of scissors and they're Cutco USA Cutco 66 and uh, I, I'm thinking that there it's the same Cutco Th this four dollars. I got them for two it was half off I think if it's the cut code that I'm thinking of, that means they've got a lifetime uh, trade-up uh, warranty on it. Brand new. This just kind of opened up. Black silicone. Got some uh, pull, uh, some saw blades. One, two. Brand new one, and one looks like it's been used. Uh, these are nice to have around. Two extension cords, 25 footers. Um, little bitty uh, mug rug, a Klein uh, electrical uh, electrician's hook hook blade, Klein USA. I'm gonna clean that up. Uh, this was half off, so that was a dollar fifty. Uh, almost a full thing of tight bond wood glue, and it's good. This is an almost full thing of uh, armor all anchor hawking. Uh, mixing bowl, three things of partials of the blue tape, a Fat Max saw, uh, and this really cool high low intensity lamp. So that is a pretty cool, uh, pretty good score for late in the season. Honestly, that's a, that's actually a really good score. This map uh, is from my hometown, Napa Valley, and uh, I'll tell you a story. Uh, about where we used to live on this, I think this property right here. I, if I drove there, I could tell you exactly, either here or here, but I'll tell you a story that I told the woman about this and uh, she didn't believe me uh, about the story, but uh, so, oh well. So I'll tell you guys and you guys tell me what you think. So this is kind of cool. Just pick this up just to hang in the garage. I forgot to show this to you. This is an old, old timer magnifying glass. Here, let me get it out. Check that baby out. That is so going in the bug out kit. Think we can start a fire with that? One of my favorite scores today. All right, let me clear this table and I'll show you my anchor, anchor item. I think you're going to love it. I know I do. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a nice little score. I uh, just put everything away uh, and uh, took pictures of the stuff that I'm going to list and uh, pretty much got, got everything about 60% uh, processed. And now let's talk about the anchor item. So you've heard me mention it time and time before. You know, uh, you go out and you yard sale, and let's say you spend $100. Um, you know, I try to stay, you know, in a weekend somewhere around that before food and snacks and stuff like that. But uh, let's say you buy, you know, a bunch of smalls and all that stuff, and let's say, you're, you know, you say you spend $80 or whatever, and then you find that item that you that you can buy and then you know that you can sell really quick you've, you've either bought and sold it before or you just know the value in it and then 
when you sell it, you, let's say you make a $500 uh, profit on it. So that is your anchor item. That one item swept the cost of everything that you bought that weekend and often the weekend before and the weekend before. So that is the, that's the holy grail is to go out and try to find anchor items each weekend. So that's what, what that's what your, uh, the tip is. Um, when you hear me talk about it and Sean, uh, over at, uh, Shovelhead 8, when you hear him talk about it, you'll know what we're talking about when we say anchor item. Pretty self-explanatory, but if you didn't know, now you do. Um, so on to my anchor item. So here it is. As you know, uh, we're all collecting stoves and lanterns and, uh, this isn't, uh, this isn't anything as cool as Ron T. Sawyer's the Marine stove that he fired up, but check this baby out. This is a Dickinson. Uh, it's made by Dickinson Marine and it's an Arctic made in Canada and, uh, by Dickinson Marine. And it is a propane uh, shipper uh, boat stove. So <clears throat> this is the the valve. There's the input right here, and I was able to find the hose at the sale. It was in another location, but this I'm sure that this is the hose that goes to it. And uh, this has a fan down below on the bottom. And this is the uh, controller wire for it. So probably a, a an on and off switch and uh, maybe even a variable. So this comes up, then you have a cast iron blast furnace, really. And you'll see down in here, that thing is just gonna blow like a torch and it's gonna heat up this cast iron uh, vessel first and then it's gonna radiate. You also have a window in here that's got, uh, you can't see it, but there's uh, mica. It's got a mica window in there so you actually see the flame. It's all stainless. I mean, this thing is killer. I have not looked it up, but I paid 35 bucks for it and I know for a fact that this is probably gonna be, I don't know, maybe a $500 stove at least. That's my guess. But uh, that's it, that's my anchor item. And I can't wait to get it fired up and stay tuned and uh, hopefully I get it going here in the next couple weeks. Until next time. Oh, bonus footage. I forgot I picked this up. Wind. It says wind intake manifolds. 238 cubic inches. The motor opens up, the doors open up. It's pretty cool trunk no pretty cool little bonus footage item um, hang on I'll, I'll show you something else here's the cut co scissors and the nickels file and then here's the knife cleaned up cleaned up pretty nice but here is the star of the show this little monocle that thing is killer I think it's silver and it cleaned up really nice. It's got a really good uh, piece of glass. And I've got this leather, uh, got some preservation stuff on there. I'll let that sit for a while before I put it together. So that's it for sure. So I'll, I'll see you next time.